Okay, in this example, we're going to solve the equation 50 equals 3 times the quantity x plus 14 minus 2 times the quantity x minus 2. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of the parentheses on the right-hand side of the equation. And the idea is if I have the parentheses removed, I can start combining like terms, and that'll help start, you know, um, condensing the problem. So I'm going to use the distributive property. Okay, so we've got 50 equals, and again, the distributive property says when you, whatever number you have out front, you multiply to each term inside the parentheses. So we'll multiply 3 times x, that'll give us 3x. We have positive 3 times positive 14, that's going to give us positive 42. Now, for the next, uh, the next term, we've got negative 2 multiplied by x, that's going to give us negative 2x. Then we have negative 2 multiplied by negative 2. That's going to give us positive 4. All right, so now I see some like terms on the, the right-hand side. I've got this term of 3x, and then I also have this term of negative 2x. So if I do 3x minus 2x, that's going to leave me with positive 1x. Likewise, I've got positive 42 and a positive 4. Well, 42 and 4, if we add those together, 42 plus 4, that's going to give us positive 46. And now we're almost there. Um, we've got x all by it, almost by itself. I want to get it all by itself. Well, since I'm adding 46, I'm going to subtract 46 from both sides. 50 minus 46, that's going to leave us with 4. And on the right side, we're just simply left with our value of positive x. And that is now our solution. It says if we substituted x equals 4 to that original equation, and we do the arithmetic on the right-hand side, we'll end up getting positive 50 as our value.